for me, growing fruit trees is just like like for some people going surfing. Right. You know, it's it's just fun. It's stress free. Um, it allows me to just, you know, get get my mind focused on something that's that's productive and also just, you know, fills me with uh, gratitude and enjoy and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so as a retail nursery, uh, we, we definitely get a lot of those first time gardeners that come in. And so we get to have this, these types of encounters a lot and, uh, we're grateful for that mm. and, uh, and for being able to steer them the right way. And, and then also like we get plenty of plant nerds that are already they already know what they're doing and they're hunting down the butterscotch sapodilla <laughs> from all the way across the state and and they show up at the gate at 8 a.m and they're like they're like i got a list just show me where it's all at and like those are my type of people yeah. too because because they're just they're plant nerds <laughs> like me i love it man you're providing a beautiful service man i appreciate it uh i just love doing it yeah, that's it. This is where I have to give my uh, my citrus rant. Why we don't grow citrus? Oh uh, yeah, I want to. You'll hear see it. how it's it's related. So we don't grow citrus, and I get calls all the time. Do you have a lemon? Do you have an orange? No, we don't grow it. Uh, number one, because we don't want to use the uh, the the pesticides that the state of Florida requires by law that a nursery uses to grow citrus trees and sell them. Um, we don't want to use that stuff because it's toxic. So that's number one. But the, the bigger reason for me personally is um, it's one of the most challenging things to grow. But new gardeners have this disillusionment that it is the first thing they should start with because mm. they think Florida, citrus, sunshine, oranges, you know, lemons, whatever. So somebody that's never planted a garden in their life comes and asks me for a citrus. And I, I say, no, we don't grow them. And, and this is why. And if they're willing to um you know learn and kind of understand why it, it really comes down to i don't want you to buy something that's more challenging than you expect mm -hmm. plant it and think it's going to be easy and then have yes. complete failure because of the disease issues and, and all that stuff and then that's going to demotivate them and totally. they're going to think oh like oh this should have been easy and it was actually the tree died and it you know it was a struggle and I, I didn't have any success with my first venture into gardening. So now I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, now it's too difficult. It's too much yeah. work. I'm not going to try. So if I get to the opportunity to be that little pivot point mm. for that person, that, that new person that's got an interest and I can say, Hey, look, don't plant that. Cause it, it's going to be difficult for you. Plant like our top six I'm always talking about mango, mulberry, avocado, loquat, starfruit, banana. Any of those, Beautiful. you plant those first, you're guaranteed you're going to get initial success. It's going to be easy. It's going to be low maintenance. And you'll and be then, encouraged. And, and then they're going to get that good first result, that initial success, and they're going to want to do more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And they'll learn and then they'll learn why it's, um, you know, some of the more exotic stuff is a little bit challenging to grow, but they might want to take that challenge on then because they feel good that they've they've been able to mm. have some success early on. Yeah. So it's it's all about that that first experience that people mm. have when they're like dabbling. Do I want to start a garden <laughs> in my yard? Do I want to like, you know, cut out a little section of grass? Well, if if they plant the wrong thing, then it, they're going to think it's a waste of time. Yeah. Man. So you got to get them started right. Dude, you got to get them started right. You're speaking my language, man. It's so true because I that I that's happened to me so much, man. Yeah, and you know, it's about being, results. It's about results, right? Like, it's that's about what you're results that, about. that motivate. You know, it, mm. and reciprocating results, and, and then it becomes perpetual, and that's how people get get stoked. Like people do. Like I I know I do. I plant one mango. I'm like, this is so great. Okay, I need seven more mangoes. Oh, yeah. like, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like it's a natural progression as you get into it, right? You need to have more mulberries than just one mulberry. You know? Yeah, and it's it just becomes fun. <laughs> it becomes uh, just like a recreational activity. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>